We're joined by Bill Hirsch, course director for the Clinical Informatics Subspecialty Certification Exam Program. Thanks for joining us again, Bill. Thank you. Um, now, you've made a major announcement at AMIA 2012. It's the start of a Clinical Informatics Subspecialty Certification Exam Program. Why is this a big deal? Well, it's important because it's the next step to developing the clinical informatics subspecialty for physicians, which is important because of the professional recognition that it brings to physicians who work in informatics. So this announcement announces the review course that those who are qualified to take the exam can take to review to help them pass the exam. What are the plans now for developing the program? The plans are to offer this course several times over the next year prior to the first offering of the exam. There are three other faculty course directors helping me and we're putting together the content based on the outline for the exam that was part of the original proposal to the American Board of Medical Specialties to establish this new subspecialty. Why is this program important for physicians to have? The clinical informatics subspecialty is important for physicians because it gives them the professional recognition in medicine that they are deserving of because they're playing this important role at the intersection between information systems and healthcare, using those systems to improve healthcare. So we know this program is important for physicians, but why is it important to other healthcare professionals? This is the first professional recognition for physicians, but AMIA is an organization of many healthcare professionals and other professionals. This initial certification will then open the door, and in fact, AMIA has established an interprofessional task force to look at certification for other healthcare professionals and others who work in informatics, leading to their certification and professional recognition as well. Now for those who are interested in learning about the program, what can they do to start learning more in terms of signing up for it? There's more information on the AMIA website, amia.org. And if you want more information, you can check out page 167 in your conference guide. Thank you, Bill Hirsch. You're welcome.